Hey everybody, welcome to Math Practice with Miss Ice. Let's get started. Number one, write a decimal that is equivalent to five and 20 hundredths. So before we write the decimal, we wanna see what this looks like in fraction form. So five, and 20 hundredths. So I write my 20 and my hundredths, okay? And now we need to change this into a decimal. So I'm gonna put this as equal to, so there's our five. So I put my five in front of the decimal place. Okay, 20 hundredths looks like this, okay? all the way out to the hundredths place, right? We know that 20 hundredths is the same as 2 tenths. So this fraction, this decimal is the same if I cover up the zero or not. Okay, there it is. Number two, there are 5,280 feet in one mile. How many feet are there in six miles? So the question is asking for feet. How many feet? are in six miles. So are we going to multiply or divide? That's right, we're going to multiply. It's gonna be a lot of feet. So we can give an estimate. If 5,000 feet are in one mile, if I need to get all the way up to six, I hypothesize that it will be close to or more than 30,000 feet, because six times five is 30. So let's see what we get. Times six, okay. Six times zero, zero. Six times eight, 48. Carry my four. Six times two is 12. 12 plus four is 16. Carry the one. Six times five is 30. Plus one, 31. Okay, I have this big number here. Put my comma in. 31,680 what? Ding, ding, feet are in six miles. That's a lot of feet. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Number three. Didn't Looks like I didn't give myself enough room to do the problem for number three, so I might have to flip to the back of the page. A school principal ordered 1,000 pencils. He gave an equal number, that's important, equal number to each of seven teachers until he had given out as many as possible. How many pencils were left over? So he has a thousand, he has seven teachers, and they're all gonna get the same amount of pencils. So no one is special, we all get the same amount. <laughs> all right, so are we going to multiply or are we going to divide? We are going to divide, ding, ding, ding. So let's see how many equal groups of seven can we get out of a thousand? Okay, I'm actually gonna do this problem down here, right here, because I ran out of room. So, seven goes into 1,000. Okay, we're gonna do the division. Seven goes into 10 one time, that's a three. Bring down your zero. Seven goes into 30. Four times. 28. Bring down your zero. Seven goes into 20. Three. No, not quite. Two. Two times seven. 14. Okay, we see this here. We have a remainder of six. A remainder of six. That means there's six left over. Okay. What is the question that the problem is asking? 
how many pencils were left over? So are we going to give this answer? Eh, not 142 pencils left over. Each teacher got 142 pencils. We have to look at the remainder to see how many pencils were left over. Ding, 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 ding. Down here, I'm gonna circle that six. So let's answer our question. Six, right there, six pencils were left over, period. Let's do the last problem. Draw a right triangle and label it, okay? So I want my students to be reviewing what is an acute triangle, what is an obtuse triangle, and what is a right triangle, okay? When I think of right, I'm looking for a right angle. What is a right angle? A right angle is an angle that measures 90 degrees, like this. Okay, there's my rough right angle. That's how you know that little square in the corner of the angles. That's how you know it's a right angle, 90 degrees. And let's finish up my triangle connecting these points. Ding, 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 ding. Awesome, everyone. That was our math practice for today. Feel free to go back over the video if you need to and make sure you pull out your own paper and pencil and do the problems along with me. Hope everyone's doing good.